Hi, welcome to another edition of Quick Draw. Today, we'll do a Beast Man for this Quick Draw Masters of the Universe series. We'll use a 300 DPI Photoshop document, an animator pencil from Kyle, a Lazy Nazumi plugin, but you can work with a normal brush and without a Lazy Nazumi, it's not a requirement. But hey, the more tools we use, the better we can perform. It's like going to war, you can go with a single shooter pistol, or with an automatic rifle, with a firing rate of 500 rounds per minute. It's still your choice. Well, it's an exaggeration, but I think, you got my point. As always, we'll start with a circle, and some basic shapes, like boxes and tubes so that we can have a feel, for the volume of the drawing. When the music starts, the video will be sped up. I remember, when I was a noob, I was a trainee for animation layouts, for a small studio, I had a co-trainee, who would always get annoyed, when we get fix-ups, for our character drawings, because it lacks volume and construction, he'll always complain, he says, why the need for construction, we're not construction workers, I would like to laugh then, but I might further insult the guy. I'm not saying I was better than him, no, I got booted out of that studio for lack of skills and talent. I'm not sure if he got the same treatment too. Last time I worked with him on animation, we were in India, doing layouts for a musical character, I forgot the title, one time he was brooding in the veranda of our office, about a character, off model fix up call, he was muttering, that he does not know what to do anymore. Actually he's very good in embellishing line works for characters, but one thing is missing, the discipline of doing volumes. Off volume, creates off model characters, so for noobs out there, learn the value of volume in your drawings. A little trivia on our character, from Wikipedia. Beast Man is a fictional supervillain in the toy line and cartoon series Masters of the Universe, the savage right-hand man of Skeletor, he has control over many wild creatures and has brute strength. The original design sketch of Beast Man, by Mattel toy designer Mark Taylor, was rejected by Mattel for looking too much like Chewbacca. In early sketches for the Toyland, then called the Fighting Foe Men, Beast Man, then called Red Beast, was at one stage planned to be the line's main villain, but this role ended up being given to Skeletor, prototype named Demo Man, with Beast Man as his main henchman. The character was also known as Tree Man during the conceptual stages. Beast Man appears frequently in the Toy Lines cartoon series by Filmation, introduced in the first episode, Diamond Ray of Disappearance. Although toned down slightly, for the younger child-friendly series, as were many of the characters. Beast Man remained a fairly regular character, throughout the run of the 1980s series, while some other earlier figures, like Zodak, Merman, Triclops and Stratus gradually dropped out of sight, when newer characters were released. He generally held his position as Skeletor's right-hand man, throughout the cartoon's run. Beast Man's background, is never mentioned in the cartoon, although the series Bible states a surprising origin for him, explaining he was once a thuggish human from Earth called Biff Beastman who owned a farmyard on which he constantly abused the animals. He was recruited as chief technician on the spacecraft piloted by Marlena Glenn, which crashlanded on Eternia.
When inking, set Lazy Nozumi to smoothing massive, and animator pencils flow to 100%. You heard that right folks. Beast Man was once human. Wow. I never saw that coming. Well, let's continue. Marlena Glenn crash landed on Eternia, but Beast Man wound up on Skeletor's homeworld of Infinita, where he was mutated into Beast Man and recruited by Skeletor. This origin story appears in a storybook entitled New Champions of Eternia but was unpopular with most of the show's writers and therefore excluded from the series. In case you don't know who Marlena Glenn is, she's Prince Adam's mother. This info was available on Wikipedia under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. For more info, please visit the site, link will be given in the description. We'll be coloring this drawing in Illustrator. I made normal speed videos to better explain my coloring, which is quite very simple. Please watch them if you are a beginner or if you find this video lacking of much info about the coloring process. I'll post a link in the description. I encountered this technique, when I was working for book illustrations, I was head penciler then, and there was this colorist, who always finish ahead of everybody, and he is the one, only using illustrator for the coloring, I don't even know how to use the computer then, well, eventually when the company trimmed down to us being the only artist, he taught me the process. This is the traced bitmap process. This is the retouching process using the blob brush being our main tool. And always, always save your files guys, you never know when the unexpected to come. This is the coloring process, our main tool here is the knife tool. To fully understand the process, please watch these videos, and soon, you'll be adding this techniques to your skill set. Link is in the description. 
Plus the videos will at least give you the familiarity of using Illustrator. It's a springboard for further exploring the program. Very good for newbies. Looks very easy, right? Watch the Illustrator basic videos and experience the joy of slicing. Remember, the only tools used here are the blob brush tool, the eraser tool, eyedropper tool and the knife tool. Very good introduction to using Illustrator as one of your coloring process. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you very much for watching.